Gray of England. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing white with green and weighing in at nine stone. Strategy for Jack Catterall to come to Belfast to fight a Belfast hero. So much on the line. He's been talked about as a world title challenger. O'Hara Davis is another possible somewhere down the line. Tyrone McKenna, though, recognises he's a four to one underdog here, but he recognises he's in at the deep end with a fight he didn't really expect to have, and he thinks very firmly that he has the boxing skills to continue this Irish celebration. Well, of course, he's just come off a really good win himself, McKenna, so he's full of confidence, and he's at home as well. And obviously, you know, you'll think, I'll just take Cattrall's um, rankings and standing in, in the, in the organisations, and I'll be the world class. I'll be on the vinge of a world, of, of the, of a world title if I can get the win. So, you know, it's a, it's a no-lose situation for McKenna. For Cattrall, of course, it's a little bit different. It's a, it's a risk, because he's got a high ranking, and he's talked that possibly a world title shot maybe or a big fight looming soon and this is a this is a, a dangerous opponent a guy you know, who's all good tall all good and a good sharp softball and he's got a good engine hasn't he he's got yeah. a good work rate since Tyrone McKenna and the critics of Jack Catterall have said he's a bit one paced and Jamie Moore is well aware of that and he's worked hard on him to try and get it into his psyche to go through the gears He's a talent. He is a real talent. He's a world-class talent, uh, Catra. In, in the past, he's been guilty of trying to look good rather than be effective at times. But you know, when, when, he, when he's on point, when he, when he gets all his, all, the, all his ducks in a row, he looks, he looks a potential world-class fighter. Two southpaws, and from those statistics that you're watching during the formal introductions from Thomas Triber, I think the most significant is the reach. McKenna, 73-inch reach compared with 68 Catterall, but Catterall is so good at getting inside and working inside. He's a great punch picker. He just took a couple of little short double cuts here, Catterall, but the, the best punches were the, the long one too, right, left. Real sharp, fast hands there from Catterall to land the combination earlier on. McKenna, a one-time child actor, Tyrone McKenna. Reckon he got uh, up and a part as well in Game of Thrones and at the time nobody of course knew what that was about <laughs> and he went to a pop concert instead. <laughs> now that Game of Thrones won't catch on. <laughs> well, that's good there from McKenna, short little, little left hand. Says he's ready to shock the boxing world, McKenna. And it's a tight opener. It is a tight opener. They both had success, haven't they? The better punches of the, of the round that have come from Catrol, but maybe McKenna a little bit busier. Very respectful the build-up to this, and McKenna, I think, surprised to get the chance. Surprised that Catrol was prepared to come to Belfast. 
Interesting opening round. Long way to go. to one outsider Tyrone McKenna to win this one despite being the, the sentimental pick of the Irish public Catterall said that McKenna would be made for him I don't know about that <laughs> yeah, how, how a six foot one inch <laughs> fighter in the, the super lightweight division can be made for anybody I'm not quite sure you can see already though, if, if McKenna throws an easy jab Catcher will make him pay with that left hand over the top. But also, if, if Catcher gets too close and squares his feet like he does a couple of times, McKenna can get that left uppercut in the play also. Jamie Moore was telling me how impressed he's been with Catcher since he's switched gyms and come and worked with him. And loving being part of a, a setup which now involves so many successful fighters, including, of course, Martin Murray, who we saw in action last week, and man who's part of our commentary team tonight, Carl Frampton. It's good from McKenna. Yeah, he's having a little bit more accuracy there, isn't he, McKenna, than, than Catchell? Good, lovely left hand. Lost have been a fight against Phil Sutcliffe for Tyrone McKenna. Catterall having had two quick blowout victories in his last two fights, so when the opportunity came to step in as a substitute, was only too happy to oblige. Surely, lad. Not the only money that that uh, other great pride of Chorley, Michael Jennings, will be watching on. Good fighter he was. Yeah, real beautiful boxer, Michael Jennings. Good fast hands there from McKenna. And again, lovely. He started very sharp, McKenna. That's good. Uh, there's, uh, there's blood, though, from the right-hand side the top of, of his McKenna's head. head. How that's happened, I really don't know. I can only assume it must have been a head crash. Yeah, head crash on elbows. There's one which landed after he'd gone down and referee Steve Gray ushering him away but an absolute peach on left hand. He's up too early there, McKenna. Still wobbly on his legs, so he's jumped up too early. Now, what's the referee going to do? But it's what he's going to do there. He's going to give McKenna plenty of time to recover. He'll tell Jack Catterall. Will he deduct? He'll give him the right act once McKenna has recovered. Time out, he says. And now he says the punch was landed on the on the ground, and in theory he could have kicked him out for that. Well, I'm not 100 sure what goes on though, because he hasn't he didn't take out a count, but he was knocked down. And, and is he going to give take a point from catch off for knocking him on the floor? He is. Yeah, the point's being taken away for the low for the punch thrown after he'd gone to the canvas. So controversy straight away and a big talking point. Oh, good shot there, Capsule. Capsule going to work. Oh, he's got him again and he goes down legitimately this time. And this 
first time it is the knockdown, it's given, and once again, it was the power shot, the left hand, which sent him down, and Catterall is all over Tyrone McKenna now. in the corner. Well, that's the first one, and you see he landed more than one after he'd gone down. So what happens here? The referee don't, don't count the knockdown because he's hitting oh. on the floor. So he gets a public warning for that. That's a fantastic well, he's had the shot. Point, he's had the point deducted. It was a great punch. But then he gets the knockdown himself, so that... that that makes it a 9-8 run for Catterall. Touch of gloves and the apology from Catterall, but he is absolutely in control now. And can Tyrone McKenna get into some sort of a rhythm and get Catterall off him? He's accurate, so he's punching hard on the left hand, which puts him down twice. Absolute tremendous punches. Well, they really were. And, and, just over eagerness from, from Catron, maybe cost him a stoppage there. Oh, it's good from Catron. McKenna calling him on there, showing his bravery. He's up for the fight. It's a worrying sign for the guy so tall to have that jab countered every time he throws it by the left hand of Catron. This early in the fight as well. Catterall celebrates his 25th birthday tomorrow. Oh, well Good work McKenna. from McKenna. But what a great start from Jack Catterall. Well, Catterall got the faster reflexes, so he should walk in on McKenna and block and counter with the same hand. Crowd responding to the work of McKenna there, but Catterall covering up well. And I'm a little word there with McKenna also. Good body shots. Found his feet again, hasn't he, McKenna? Oh, well, he's done well. Down twice. Whatever the referee's verdict was, he was fouled twice by big left hands in that second round. Looking to get inside and once again only missed by a fraction with that left hand. The first two punches were good though from, from Catrell. Good body shot there as well. Significant with a heavier handed man by the looks of it. And a good solid left to the body. Oh, that's nice. Good footwork there as well. Little combination getting out of range. Well, McKenna's dug in, and fair play to him for that. But the quality once more looks to be coming from Mc from uh, Catterall. Jamie Moore on, in his corner, happy with the way things are going so far.
into the fourth round. Still looks a massive ask for McKenna to win this fight now. I assume you scored that last round for Cattle. Yeah, no, yes, I did, most definitely. McKenna did well to dig in, but all the quality came from, from Jack Cattle. That's good for McKenna, well done. And a good left hand as well. It's a good tactic, maybe trying to push push Cattle back. Big swing by McKenna, he missed by a distance and saw the amusing side of it. Well, they're both talking to each other as well, I think. McKenna needs to get himself on the scoreboard the way we're looking at it. First round was close. But the last two clearly for Jack Catterall. Good job. Smear of blood from Jack Catterall's nose. That's the jab of Tyrone McKenna, which has done the damage such as it is. But that's also the punch that Catterall's trying to time for that left hand over the top. That's good from McKenna, and a good round, isn't he? Yep. This has been the best he's shown so far. Catterall just waiting his moment. The jab is again, again there from McKenna. Oh, there's that left hand again. This time McKenna takes it and holds on. I was just about to say, he just carries that right hand a little bit too low. And he's just trying to get a little bit of fluency in the jab. He's open for that left hand. And it looks like a matter of time before Catterall finds the target again. I'll block that combination there by McKenna. He's done well in this round overall, though, McKenna. Oh, yeah, he has. Shot by Catra, not quite hit, didn't hit him 100% full on. And again, there's the exchange of words between the two of them. Not quite sure what McKenna said, but it made Catra all smile. He's boxed well, the Iceman, in that round. Excellently, got, you know, got, a, got a bit of fluency to his work, got his punches together quite well. And again, probably, as you see here, Catra probably landed with the better punches or punch of the round. But overall, the overall round, I thought McKenna did well more than enough to win it. Mahara Davis, spectacular winner last week oh, at the O2 Arena. What a right could, well be, could well be the man who's going to be in wait for these two in the next fight. Will it be Catterall? Will it be McKenna? Here comes Catterall, great body shots. Well, that's taken the wind out of him. And the power is with Catterall. McKenna had a decent round last round, but he's got to try and stay away now. Just needs to keep that, that distance long. Catrell not too, too close to his hands go. WBO rated number four in the world, no Jack Catrell. And he's going to work here. 
every second which passes McKenna will recover of course but the pain doesn't go too quickly with a, a body shot of that velocity no, and also there was a lovely left chop and left hook as well just to, just to put him on the floor make sure he went down another one thudded home oh, that's good from Catro McKenna needs to find a way of getting off those ropes looking strong He's a feint there now, Captain. A feint and just spin around the Tigers a little bit. Another hurtful hook hammered into the body. And, and it's cut as well, McKenna, right eye. I thought there was a, oh, shit. another big left hand. And McKenna will be glad to hear the bell go to end this round assuming he gets as far as that he keeps fighting back there there nice right hook from McKenna but look at this from Castle wow one pace certainly wasn't one pace there <laughs> one very fast pace but McKenna still targets him with a clinch blood pouring from that gas we are telling you about above the right eye on the face of McKenna and the crowd wow. responding to his bravery. Come on, he says. Look at the shot there, and the left hand over the top from, from McKenna. Lovely combination. He's done well, McKenna here, targeting the capsule. Capsule's massively dominant. He's fired back a little bit, but sat tight. The capsule got the crowd on his side again, and capsule sat just took his foot off the gas. Very clever. But Catrell dominated the round. That is right, I'm going to leave that gum to you then. I'm going to leave the gum to you then. Listen to me. Okay, listen to me. Oh, Second half of the fight. McKenna's still in there. He's still in there battling, John, but he's not winning rounds, and that's the worry. So he picked up, for me, he picked up the fourth, but for the most part, Cattle's in charge. A lot of blood around from uh, McKenna, which is spattering our commentary position with ringside. It's a lovely shot. But he just puts a little step behind it. It's a really heavy, real fast punch, that jab. People said he was in for a tough night, Tyron McKenna. He came out with a great quote. He said, I'm not in this game for easy. Easy oh. for the weak. <laughs> he's having a, a go, John. Certainly is. in control that little exchange but McKenna just keeps throwing punches doesn't give up on the combinations crowd getting very excited by McKenna's mini revival we'll find a way to come back from this it would be some turnaround body shots 
He is loving their support <laughs> and applauding the crowd. But we can never get too reckless. The, the energy is fantastic and the world is great. But don't get too reckless. Don't let the crowd consume you too much and you get caught with, some, with, with, with a car going off catch up. Yeah, it can work both ways. Like a couple of times already. It can work both ways, can't it? You can get overhyped. He's certainly on a little bit of a crest of the wave at the moment, McKenna, though. Oh, lovely. Well, that's quality from Catterall. Lovely heavy hand job from Catterall. McKenna's still smiling, though. Missed by a distance with those two. Really trying to load up on his hooks here, Tyrone McKenna. Oh, a great chance of support for McKenna from the Belfast crowd. And he goes back to his corner, think he's won the round. I do, to only just, I think the corner quality of the world, the quality of the punches were, were capturing, but I think the world rate, the sheer world rate of McKenna might have just nicked in the round, you know. And I want to see you sitting down, and I want to see that straight left hand underneath. He's feeling it himself now, you've let it destroy me, and you're showing a lot of balls here, but look, you're taking a lot as well. Brave boy, Tyrone McKenna. He just doesn't give up on the com on the combination, just keeps the hands throwing. Where Castle's looking for the, the clear, crisp counters, and McKenna just the volume of work. Danny Ball, the words of advice. Danny's dad, George, in that corner as well. And... Johnny Roy doing the work on the cuts. Kenna narrowed the gap for our card in that last round. They're going to go there, all the shots are missing. The way they hit in arms. He's pushing Catchall back, though, that's a good thing. And a shake of the head from Catchall, as much as to say, that's done nothing. Well, Catchall knows he has the power to hurt him, most definitely, and he has the faster hands of the two and the faster reflexes, probably, but just needs to start being a little bit busier now, start going through the gears and putting some proper pressure back on the McKenna. Now, this is, now, this is where, this sort of situation where the critics of Catchall say, you know, it, it's the one pace which is allowing McKenna to come back. Yeah, which it, again, it's just like, look, he, he feels like he's been in and he is. He knows he can hurt the guy, so he's just trying to sometimes look too good and just get the work done. Steve Gray just uh, warning him about use of the head, Catterall, as the blood seeps again from the damaged right eye of Tyrone McKenna. He seems to get behind that jab a little bit more. That's good from Catterall. We're kind of fighting back, Monks not being blocked, to be fair. Good Show, jab. He's showing guts of plenty. Oh, and he just... That's what he wants to do. Just what he did there, Catron. Jab to the head, jab to the body, then throw that left hand over the top. He just need that punch to follow that combination. Game of Thrones, who wants to be an actor when you can mm -hmm. perform in front of your own public here in Belfast? The left hook there, right hook was blocked there by Catron. Pressure on again. Oh, lovely. This is where, you know, if you're going to fight for a world title, this we've got to start going for the gears. Took them out with a good shot. Smile on the face of McKenna. Doing well there. Yeah. Good sure job. having a word with him in uh, response.
Togo and Matt every time McKenna throws a punch, but for me, 2-1 I think I think Cattle is more, more controlled and I think they're wrong for Cattle. Now can you see him slowing now? Yeah. He's just now starting to get a little bit slower. He's not as mild with his comebacks. Yeah? Now this is that point where you're sickening with that jab. That's right. all he's got to be for the time being. Once he starts bumbling in, sicking him with it. Yeah? You're missing this opportunity down here. Yeah? So he went boom round there and he's expecting it every time now. Yeah. So as soon as you get here, boom, boom, round the other side instead. Yeah? Yeah. Really? So sick it up. Okay? Yeah. Jab. You're breaking down with a jab now. Back to your boxing skills. Right. Become a very respected trainer. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie Whoa. Moore. There might be one or two people watching somewhere yeah. who not aware of the fact he was an outstanding fighter himself and a good little bit of uh, technical oh, advice from he just and he's one of those ones like Ricky Hatton where they don't always give the advice that they would take when they fought you know they're technically better as a coach than they probably were as a fighter I wish they'd gone to the front now the prime example of that yeah, yeah, one, yeah it's amazing isn't it and that's a sign of a quality coach yeah, they don't train everyone like you boxed but like you fought they train them to what their strengths Good shot there by McKenna. Lovely left hand. Just keeps coming back, don't he? Every time he looks like he's moved down to get away from him, he just keeps fighting back. Oh, he's a thick boy, isn't he? Catterall ahead on Boris guard, but McKenna's still in there. And he's caught him with the right hand there. Catterall just squared up a little, had to give ground. He takes his foot off the gas too much, Catterall. He always looks like the fact that he's got so much more to go, the gears to go through. He always looks like the fact that fighting within himself. And that allows fighters to get back, get back into the fight. He threw that right hand to the body there, which Jamie Moore was asking for. Good shot. Good <laughs> kidology from McGanna. A bit of a maniac, didn't he, McKenna? He didn't block that one. Oh. Full body shots as well. Come on, man, give us some more. Catterall will only be too happy to try and oblige. Well, well Catterall's going to end the block all out and, and go about his work, and that's obviously kidology from McKenna cleverly trying to get a rest. And it's worked a couple of times tonight. Not a big one-punch knockout artist, McKenna. Does it on work rate and pressure. That's good. Good, yeah, good. <laughs> good back as well from Catchell. There's that right up to the body again. And again. Yeah, I think that's McKenna. McKenna takes a lovely straight left and fires back with one of his own. Fantastic stuff. Catchers fault. He shouldn't get caught. He shouldn't get caught with a punch like that from that far out when he's the guy putting the force in the pace. Switching off. Twenty-second professional fight here. Ah, oh, lovely work from the Kenner. Well done. He's dug in deep in the yeah. latter stages of this round. Another good, solid right hand. from the Irishman, it really was. He's feeling it like fuck. You listen to me. Only two rounds remaining. McKenna really bit on his gun shield and came back well in the closing stages of that round, but he sent the crowd wild, but I'm not sure the judges are going to have given it to him. No, I, I think that, I think again, it's, it's quality over quantity, I think, and I think the quality came from Catrol, but he switches off too close to the target too many times, and McK someone like McKenna, who will, who will not give up, and will always let his hands go, that gives him a chance to get back into the round. Starting to look as though 
Catterall against O'Hara Davis is getting ever more likely. Into the ninth round, two to go. Can Catterall stop Tyrone McKenna? Can he inflict a first professional defeat on the Irishman? McKenna will be only too willing to show that he's not read that particular script. Oh, good shot from McKenna, lovely fast hands. Yeah, he's a proper fighting man, this, this McKenna, this title McKenna. Oh, good work. Lovely look at there from McKenna as well, before he had to take one back from Catchell. Oh, great work. Shot. It's a really good shot by McKenna, but it's telegraphed and it shouldn't be caught. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be get a caught with that catch to be honest. Not from that range. And if he was getting That's caught good. by somebody who really was a banger. Yeah, of course. His supporters would be worried. Oh, it's a low one, right hand. He's already had one point taken, and McKenna's angry. He's saying to Steve Graham, ready to go on. I wonder if he's going to uh, be uh, planning some sort of payback. You know, I don't think it's any malicious, because that the first one I strayed a little bit low, to be fair. Good job there for McKenna again. He loves to fight this kid. Supporters, some of them are standing up, imploring McKenna to even greater levels of commitment in the closing stages here. Now, commitment's a very important word, John, because McKenna is just so committed. The great button like I'm sure, get to the fight of the day, nice hard jab there from him. Capsule looks like he's got so many more gears to go through, and yet and it, it doesn't feel the urgency. Now, he's winning the fight, of course, but you know, he should be. He should be Showing that what he got. That's That's good. Good. Lovely, Lovely body shots it. from Catterall. And McKenna's feeling those. That is a really solid right hand. Shake of the head from McKenna, who says, Is that all you've got? More than a body shot, I like the way he rips through the, through the middle. Stirring effort from the Belfast favourites. Close to that seconds. Jump. Easy to get that jab back on the on track, no capsule. As Jamie Moore was asking for a round earlier. Only one round left. Again, Cat uh, McKenna waves to his fans. Listen, you need a big round and you can snatch this, I'm telling you now. You've got to keep it tight, yeah. you've got to wait. Yeah. Danny okay, Bourne telling him that a big round for Tyrone McKenna, he could still snatch this. I, I don't see that, to be honest. He's definitely been the busier, and I gave him that round, I'm sure, work with alone, to be honest. But I still think overall the quality of, of the punches has okay. okay. mainly been in, in, in Catron's corner. Work for him. When he works, he's looking for a blow. Yeah. Work for him. As soon as he puts it on you, put it on him. Okay? And then finish underneath. Come on, let's give me. Let's show you. Well, you've got capture all ahead, Barry. There's how he's got it by three points. McKenna surely needs a knockdown. He needs a massive last round. <laughs> and what a start he's given. Are you surprised? <laughs> he, 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 you, got, you, you, you cannot love McKenna. He's a proper fighting man with just that little touch of, of craziness about him. Snappy dresser outside the, outside the ring. He looks like something out of... 
out of the great Gatsby and he turns up, turns up to press conferences and when you see him knocking around but he is a, a really committed wholehearted fighter who's giving Jack Catterall an uncomfortable night. That's right, don't forget that, he's going to end up against you in a quality fight against Catterall and he's taking his licks and firing back when some fighters wouldn't, you know. That's good. Well, it's caught him, body shots created that opening. Again, we talk about that, that single piece of Catterall. He got to close the show now in impressive fashion, just to cement the win. Some the jabs from Catterall. Let's not forget how tall the WBA champion is at this rate, Morris Hooker. Right. You know, if, he get, if he's high in the rate, if he gets that chance, you know, he's, he's got a box of a big, tall, rangy guy who's, who's a nightmare to come up against. Well, he's another guy who's six foot, isn't he? And he gave... Uh, Flanagan all the problems he needed and took the title a week or two back. I'm sure that's a, a fight which can be made at some stage. Well, the chants and songs go up once more from the Irish fans for Tyrone McKenna. Oh, that's good. But the cleaner work is coming from Catterall. Oh, there's that. Right. <laughs> Fantastic from Canada. Just will not give up. Will not give up. Catterall, I'm sure, would have liked to have sent out a bit of a message here tonight. Has it, in a sense, been a performance which has been a, a frustration as well as something to admire. Well, it's, it's, it's a good win on paper, for sure, and, and he's shown some flashes of quality work against a good guy who's awkward, so, you know, if he gets the win, well, he's going to the judges see it as we do. So, last few seconds. Oh. And what a brave effort from Tyrone McKenna. Jack Catterall goes back to his corner and thinks that it's job done and I suspect that Danny Vaughan in that Tyrone McKenna knows that that is going to be the case as well but what a brave effort. More than a brave effort, a, a, a fantastic effort, I think you know, he made some, he put, when he looked like he was out, he was out, so out, 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 out looking, looking to an early defeat, he came back and won a few rounds, but he kept, he kept the rounds of and look, they were going to be competitive, and then he, he, he clawed it back and made those rounds hard to score at times. But ultimately, the quality of work, when he decided to, to go about his business and switch on Catrell, then the quality of work shone through, and that's why I, had, I got him winning by a few points, to be fair. Down twice in the second round, remember, McKenna. Although the first one, illegally, because the punch was thrown after he'd gone down, so Catrell deducted a point, and he was down again in the fifth round, and Jack Catterall is fairly confident that it is a job well done and certainly his corner think that the undefeated record is continuing. It is, and he, he takes a fight at relatively late notice against, against, a good, against a good undefeated kid, tall and awkward, so he, you know, he, you know, he moves on. But again, again like it's been the, been the theme of the night, McKenna moves on as well. From, even though he gets, in my eyes he's lost, he's lost against a really good kid, world-rated, no... no show so much in defeat if he if he if he is if he does get beat and he moves on to he moves on to a big fight he, biggest, he, biggest fight of his career by by a mile and did tremendously well he did tremendously well and was a joy and was, was fun to watch still uh, waiting for mckenna to come to center ring now we can get the verdict here's thomas striver Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Bob Williams scores it 95 to 91. And both judges, Phil Edwards and Marcus McDonald, score it the same, 94 to 93. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBO Intercontinental Super
two of the judges saw it a little bit closer than we did, just the one point margin. The third, though, by four points, which was closer to how Barry had it. Jack Catterall, the winner, but you can't really look at Tyrone McKenna after that and say he was a loser. There we have it then, and what a performance that was from Jack Catterall. Knockdowns early and it's frustrating watching Jack at times, isn't it? Because he's got all that talent. And he just, like Barry was saying on commentary, he just doesn't seem to go through the gears. 